Well, good evening, traders. We are on the 8th of September 2021, it was a Wednesday, and the intraday volatility for the benchmark Nifty continues. We have a very flat close today as well. The index has gained just 10 points to manage a close at 17,386. A uh, couple of funny things have happened over the last two days. After uh, we had this kind of a spinning top, a small bodied range on the 6th, the 7th and 8th, which is Tuesday and Wednesday, has uh, created some degree of intraday volatility. In our yesterday's uh, report, we were talking about a breach of 17,300 can infuse selling. Now, it did break below 17,300 today. The low of today's trade was 17. 276 and then we got a nice bounce back now this is interesting um, yesterday it broke above to a new high could not sustain and slipped from the top this could have been a trap for uh, short trades today it broke the low and then bounced back equally and uh, closed higher above that breakdown point now this can lead to some long trades exiting their short-term positions um, so a clearer picture of this possibility is there in the intraday chart 75 minute time frame so we can see here this was the breakout which was a clear failure this was a breakdown which so far so good it looks like a prospective failure now, what does this mean this means that either of the two sides the bulls or the bears are going to get trapped uh, within the next few days uh, which way it's difficult to predict beforehand. It's better never to predict, but always stay with the underlying trend. And if the trend is up, I would say 60, 40, 60% 60 on the upside. But who knows if we have a breakdown uh, below 17,300 again, then it can fall further down. So keep a keep a unbiased uh, uh, outlook for the next few days. Of course, the trend is up. Of, co of course, the momentum is slowing down. So our overall view should be cautiously bullish but we will look to buy at relatively uh, lower prices. Um, so Nifty important would be 17,300 again on the downside or you can use today's low which is 17,276, 17,280. And on the upside of course um, the high yesterday's high which was around 17,549. So 17,000, uh, sorry 449, around 17,450. We can all you know uh, land up in a range bound high uh, volatile uh, market for next few days and we can continue to get some good stock specific movements and it was primarily the banks the private sector banks which saved the day if you look this is this uh, the sectoral performance today and bank nifty was, is the biggest gainer so we spoke about this that it has tested its previous highs which has now acted as acted as good support this is a good sign for the bank nifty is a very good sign because now the possibility of a 37,200 is pretty high and um, that possibility will come from the support of private sector banks and we did see some good movement coming in from uh, Kotak banks and the others in the pack so if bank nifty continues to support the index inches towards 37,200 the private sector banks are the one from the PSU banks you can only consider State Bank of India uh, others you can ignore um, that will definitely support the nifty so the overall weakness that today we saw came in from it was well counterbalanced by private banks auto few infra and pharma stocks which were mildly negative were supported pretty well by primarily the banking stocks we know banks have the maximum weighted so that helped so continue to keep a closer look at the private sector banks the bank nifty if you're bullish right if you're if you're willing to trade on the upside we can see this the top 15 stocks kotak bank a big move today almost close to four percent ending at the highest point of the day high momentum move it's always a good sign uh, but it's a relative underperformer amongst all the private sector banks this stock is actually a relative underperformer it's trying to pick up some momentum uh, it's got some resistance of course at 1850 um, but I'll be, you know, more comfortable looking at something like an iBank, beautiful relative strength, nice trending uh, chart, 45 degree movement on the upside. HDFC Bank is also one which is relatively better off. And of course, then you have State Bank of India. <coughs> so 
banks are the one which have supported the index today and banks will be the ones which will take it further up if it has to go up unless we get a nasty surprise on the downside then we can uh, we can see the index below 17300 but overall i think um, we should continue our cautious bullish stance maintain the levels be stock specific and uh, for the long trades i think it makes sense to focus primarily on the private sector banks sbi uh, and the financial stocks also the it stocks enforces tcs are cooling off let them allow them to cool off they've gone into a high volatile um, uptrending zone so they need to slow down a little bit this kind of a slowdown can lead to a one legged correction or a two legged correction this is the chart of of tcs this is the chart of infosys so infosys probably is is uh, is probably shaping up a two legged correction here if this low gets breached that is 1670 kind of levels so let the it stocks cool off a little bit short term traders can continue to focus on them but from a medium term perspective a lower levels is advisable to you know uh, buy into them so let's see what's in store for thursday friday i believe is a holiday um so it's a truncated week keep this in mind um tomorrow is the last trading day for the week and it will be an extended weekend with three days so it's better to keep your positions slightly on the lighter side all right trade well trade ways uh, trade wise and do enjoy your extended weekend take care